okay welcome students in this one i'd like to discuss about the properties of inverse trigonometric functions concentrate on the board f of f inverse of x will be x based upon this property how i am going to write the trigonometric ratio means function its inverse is equal to the regular x it will be sin of sin inverse of x will be x okay uh, and inverse of sin x is there inverse of sin x means a sin is defined for the inverse is defined for the particular values that's why x belongs to the domain of minus 1 to plus 1 i will take the one example in between that value only that is a sin of sin inverse of this upper limit value just i like to take one according to this property sin of sin inverse of x will be x sin of sin inverse of 1 will be yes it, its value will be 1 for this reason for this particular reason what i am going to say is uh, how to solve this one sin of sin inverse of 1 means sin is having the value 1 for which angle yes exactly it is pi by 2 what is sin pi by 2 its value will be 1 with regard to the point clearly in the similar manner yes understood you know in the similar manner i need to write for the remaining for you trigonometric function cos of cos inverse of x is equal to x where x belongs to minus 1 to 1 then what about next one uh, the next will be tan of tan inverse of x will be x x belongs to real number system next will be cot of cot inverse of x is equal to x where x belongs to real number system uh, okay cosecant of cosecant inverse of x is equal to x where x belongs to real number system excluding minus 1 to plus 1 what about next uh, second of second inverse of x is equal to x where x belongs to real number system excluding minus 1 to plus 1 okay you need to make the note of all these okay i'll write the next part will be as a uh, f inverse of f of x means outside inverse will be there inside function will be there it will be similar it is like a sin inverse of sin of x is equal to x generally you can understand that is sin x sin of x will be sin x means sin is defined for the particular angles that's why i need to take the range sin x is in between minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 how it will be i will like to take one example here example i will make a note it is sine of uh, i'll take a pi by 6 what is sine pi by 6 means uh, i'll take a pi by 6 as an angle okay sine inverse of sine of pi by 6 okay uh, according to this rule sine inverse of sine of x will be x that is a sine inverse of sine of pi by 6 will be pi by 6 yes pi by 6 whether it is pi by 6 is in between minus pi by 2 plus pi by 2 yes why because 30 is in between minus 92 plus 90 understood properly okay how, how to prove this one sin inverse of sin pi by 6 sin pi by 6 is nothing but a yes it is 1 by 2 sin is having the value 1 by 2 for which angle yes it is pi by 6 only whether we got the same value yes you understood the part in a clear manner i'll write the remaining five trigonometric function properties cos inverse of cos of x will be x where x belongs to yes exactly 0 to pi it is a tan inverse of tan of x will be x okay and x belongs to open interval of minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 what about next mm, next will be uh, cosec cosecant inverse of cosecant of x is equal to x where x belongs to minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 then excluding 0 excluding 0 it is then what about the next aspect that i need to say is that is cot inverse of cot of x will be x where x belongs to yes it will be open interval 0 to pi the last one second inverse of second of second of x will be x only where x belongs to uh, close interval 0 to pi excluding pi by 2 okay 
I think you understood the properties. Okay, fine. I think you understood the properties. You need to make the note of these functions. I'll continue in the next video. Okay, thank you.